Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mendoza. Um, hopefully that loads. Here we go. Um, I can understand that the same fraction can be modeled in different ways, so it's just a number line. So that is your math lesson for today. So a number line is a line that would have different equal parts. And if I just look here very briefly, so we have zero here, which is on the left-hand side of this number line. And if we keep going to the right, you'll notice that they have equal parts. And looking at from zero to this first landmark number, it's a 12th. That means that there is a number line from zero to one, and it's divided into 12 equal parts. So this is five twelfths, this is seven twelfths. So that's something where instead of looking at groups, we're looking at representing it using one number line. It's actually quite simple as you get the hang of it. We have two videos for you to take a look at. I would watch this one first, then this one next. Then you're gonna click on the Google form, which is right over here. And it's very important that you answer this quickly because, quickly and accurately because um, the videos will take a little bit longer, but also the Google form itself is out of 10. So there is points associated with this. So out of 10, and you're just going to write your name. And again, most of them have a little red asterisks here, which means you must answer it before you can submit it. Okay, so I'll take a look at that tomorrow just to see how well we did. And we have extra line practice, number line practice, if you want to take a look at that. And it's through Khan Academy, which is amazing, by the way. Um, and check out this interactive number line, which is right click here. And it's this one. So this is a pretty cool one because you get a, an opportunity to choose fractions right so that's what you want to do and when you choose fraction you can go by halves by thirds fourths and again all the way to twelfths this is by equal parts so if you do halves and we have to start at zero okay so this is just a spacing here okay so if you want to go really close that means you'll have more parts equal parts i'm going to keep this like this pretty wide so fractions pick one Let's do half, click done, start at zero. So it's gonna look something like that. So a number line, we're gonna think of equal parts. So we have one, two, two equal parts is half. That means that that is another way of representing that. You could certainly do it a little bit more like you have more equal parts or more parts to it or more um, your denominator is bigger. So let's see here. Let's do fifths, clear items, fifths, fifths, done. St always start at zero. Sorry, I went too fast there. Start at zero, fifths, done. You'll notice that you have this little green guy there and move him out of the way. So we have fifths. So from here, let's do some jumping here. Ooh, one fifth, two fifths, right? So before, when we looked at two fifths, we could have done as a set two. And then we had three, so that two fifths are red, okay? And if we're looking at fraction as a group, so this is a set, by the way, so let me just write that down real quick. This is a set. It's a quick little review for you. This is a set. Fraction as a group. Let's see, maybe I've chosen a fraction that's hard to draw. So out of five, five equal parts. So if I'm thinking a, um, a circle, that's going to be really hard to have five equal parts. So maybe I think of creating a, it's not the best, 
But if I create a rectangle and five equal parts, so let's do one, two, three, so one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, and then we want to do two fifths, right? So we have, so we'll do this. So there, that represents two fifths. So this is two fifths. for both of these, but here, when you're looking at number line, if it's two fifths, that means you need to have, you need to have to draw on this number line here. All the way to here to one. Now one again is five over five, or five fifths. So you draw a line, Put zero on one end, preferably on the left hand side, and you make equal parts. And this is key. So again, you can represent fractions using fraction as a set, two fifths. Fractions are groups, so one whole into five equal parts, or a number line, which you can still see that this is equal parts, just like the group, okay? So that is your little math lesson for today. And if you're doing low tech, you can do paper and pencil, unload, upload your picture and, and email it, okay? Thank you very much. I hope that makes sense. Watch the two videos, complete the Google form. And if you want some added number line practice, click here or check out this interactive number line which I just showed you. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, concern, just ask and I will help you.